Um, I caught the wife um, sneaking off down the garden with the ladders and uh, she was going to climb them and start getting apples out of the tree and I said, oh no you don't. No you don't. And um, I'd already uh, spotted a danger before she'd gone up them because the front feet of the ladders were about to fall off the edge of the lawn and if she was up them when that happened, um, it should have fell basically. So she had an ingenious idea actually, it's pretty good, we'd got the rake out because we were cutting the, uh, the ivy um, clothesline, you know, that thing in the garden there. Yeah, the, the, it's, it's actually a, a concrete post for, to attach the, clo the clotheslines attached to. And ivy grew up at once, before we even moved here. And, and we got the rake out and everything, and Teresa was raking everything up, so she decided to hook the rake into the tree and grab some branches and pull the apples down. Us. Well, that was a pretty good idea actually, it worked quite well. It worked even better when I started helping, because <laughs> I'm a bit taller. Um, so we, we, we got a pretty decent bag of apples which is incredibly heavy. Look at that lot, I mean this is seriously oh, mega heavy. How about this £25 in there? Look at the size of that one! Compared to my hand look. So, hang on, give you some kind of idea. Look at that. You know, Tesco would charge you £1.50 just for that. Oh, dropped it on the floor now. Really struggling today. Uh, we've had the uh, a rather large box delivered today. We have. It's just outside and my scooter's arrived. And let's see if you've seen a box this big before. This box is massive! It's lovely. I mean, it might about fit Emma in it, you could fit an adult in it. You could fit two adults in that. It's massive. Wow, so this thing, this thing is huge. The wheels are like really big. Having fun there. Yeah. Yes. Uh, a little bit more of the mean machine has been revealed now. Mrs. Bradley's uh, working very hard, and I'm just spectating. Well, oh, my wife has been busy, haven't you, dear? I have. Um, it actually looks pretty awesome. Now we've just got to um, figure out how to get it off this box now. Are you okay, dear? You're looking very pensive. No, I'm just looking at it. What's the matter? Don't you like it? I love it. What are we going to do with that massive box? I don't know. Mm. It'll have to go in here at the back. It'll just have to temporarily go in here. Yeah. <laughs> I can send him. I can whip him. Get down them shops. Thanks. Here's my beloved on his new mean machine. Hello. The seat's very comfortable. It is, and he's got multi-position, so his back's okay. And you say it's comfortable? Very. Yeah. Yeah. I've got my trousers and legs rolled up because my legs are burning. Yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Anybody's wondering. I can even I can even do my makeup in the mirror. <laughs> I need a shave. Looks super cool. The most complicated bit about installing these batteries wasn't fitting the terminals or anything like that. It's figuring out how to put the Velcro straps on and strap the batteries down. Nice bomb. Oh, thank you, darling. Same about the face. Yeah. Hey, that's my line. The battery compartment. Yeah. And that's Neil's phone. Neil's just had a call. The, the phone call. A scam call. Yeah. Saying that uh, he's got to get connected to HMRC um, because there's a warrant going to be for his arrest imminently. It, it, it just so happens, <laughs> right? It just so happens by coincidence, we never ring the HMRC, but we rang it today, didn't yeah. we, because of your pension tax? <laughs> yeah. And I thought, that's really weird, isn't it? It's it like is. coincidence. Apparently I'm going to be arrested for um, tax fraud. I'd be better go and undo the gate. And it, yeah, in case they want to come and get me. The they police could be van on the way now, actually. with riots. Yeah. You know, with dogs. Yeah. You looked a bit suspicious, to be honest. Well, I thought that as well. Body. That's why I'm doing a video so that it shows how hard something which could be easy is for somebody that suffers like you do. It's connecting his A's and B's. 
No, no, negatives and positives, actually. Negative and positive, that's what I meant. It just come out wrong. Good boy. Who's that handsome chap? Oh, it's me. I think that's a mean machine. We've got to we've got to go and post a letter soon, which is not far away, but um, it's too far for Neil to walk. So I'm hoping that we'll try his mean machine out. But I think he does a fantastic job. Well, it goes quick. It's still <laughs> a bit bumpy. I can't, you know, it's the back. Yeah. Hello. Hello. I we'll like this. It's pretty cool. Mm. It was quite expensive. I but, know. Um, We're going to uh, fix the thing on the back, aren't we? It's going to um, improve my quality of life a little bit because it means that um, I can go meet Teresa from yeah. whenever you're getting off the bus or we can just go somewhere from the house. It yes. won't go in the car. No, but, so, we, can, but for, we can go. Yeah, Oops. for the time being, it's, um, it's an improvement on yeah. uh, what I've got at the moment. So, yeah, uh, so definitely. Slowly, if you let it go, it'll variable speed. They just pull it all the way. The, the gentler you pull it, the slower you go, Mrs. Turbo. Okay, so I'm, I think it's the 18th of September today. I'm sat on my new Viper mobility scooter, me machine, and for the very first time, um, I'm gonna go out on it in public. I'm a little bit nervous, a bit self-conscious. Um, Teresa just locking up, um, I've opened the gate, ready. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of filming on the first trip. A bit scary. Should be enough room. I'm trying to get my seat Okay. Just a little adjustment. It's got... Uh, oh yes, it's got bumps. Yeah, I've 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 got bumps. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious at the moment. So there's Mrs. Bradley there. Made it to the end of the crescent. And it's, it's nice because she can go slow at my feet. I wonder where these helicopters are going. I don't know. There's people around, I'm nervous. You're doing fine. They're too bothered about what they're doing. Yeah. And the um, suspension's good, isn't it? Yeah, to be honest, it, it, this, this path's pretty pretty bumpy mm -hmm. and it is quite a good suspension. I wonder how fast this goes. Shall I turn it up a bit? Look, you're the one driving. I'll turn it up to two out of five now. I'll meet you there then. Blimey. <laughs> I see Teresa in the ring mirror now. Mm. Oof. So I'm feeling a little bit self-conscious. There's people around now. Where are we going? Hi, okay, this is strange. What is? First trip out, everybody. I'm gonna... Yeah, I know it's strange, but is it nice that you can come here without struggling? Yeah, it is, to be honest. You know, we've got to find a going down and up. I've got to find a curb, is what my wife means. Yeah. so proud of him. It's like, it's a big thing for him to do. Ooh, what is going to do at Evil Knievel now? Oh no, oh yes he managed it. Yeah. I think I'm a better driver than you are on that. Yeah, yeah you can do the filming on the way back. <laughs> oh, that's him. Um increase the speed a bit. Oh, actually, I've got high low. So low sets it to a maximum of four mile an yeah. hour on the pavement, but high can do eight mile an hour on the road. I don't think I'm that brave yet. 
Uh, I'll meet you back home then, dear. <laughs> Now he's going to mow me down. Yeah. I pointed out to the camera that dot in the distance is Neil. Yeah. yeah. Filming me. Yes, I am. Hello, everybody. He's having fun. Yeah. The only thing is, we're being tall. You know. It's like I feel the need to put my legs out well, forward. Well, I'll tell you what, and the seat won't go back when we get back home, bit. I'll get a saw and chop your legs off. Really help, oh, you won't have the problem with your legs anymore. Thanks, Donna. You can rely on me. Yes, I think we can safely say that this trip was successful. That's two birds with one stone, that is. Go gentle down these. I've got them tipping them up. See that? Yep. Go too quick, they're quite easily sort of. Um... Yeah. See, if anybody stopped you for a chat now, mm. you, you haven't got to worry about standing time. No, my back's sore. Yeah. I'm going to go down that side of the cold though because it's a bit of a squeeze, but I'm going to go down there. Okay. Yeah. And there he goes. The Lone Ranger without Tonto. Shall we call him Evil Knievel? Or, no, not Eddie the Eagle. We'll call him My Darling. I'm so proud of him.